Hi there! Welcome to our new tutorial for OpenCAD 3. Today, we will explain how to work with the order statuses in your store. You will learn how to modify the status of your orders and how to create your own custom order statuses. Let's begin. First, we will create a test order. From the storefront, add a product to the cart and confirm the order so it appears in your order list. When you're done, go to your dashboard and click on Sales, then Orders. This is where you view and edit all of the orders submitted by your customers. Ok, so our test order appears at the top of the list. Click the View button on the right. This is where you can view all the order details, customer information and the products they ordered. Underneath, you have a field called Order History. This is where you modify the order. What we're looking for is the Order Status field, which is on the top. Click it, and you will see the drop-down menu with all the default order statuses your orders can have. Let's say that we're processing the order for now. The override setting is when an anti-fraud extension might be blocking any changes to the order status. Enable it if you want to alter the order status anyway. Next is the Notify Customer setting. If you enable this, the customer will get an email that their order status has been updated and receive info about what's up with their purchase. Last is the comment field in case you want to add any notes to the update or info for your clients. Now that we have changed the order status, all we do is hit the Add History button and the status will be updated. So let's say we want to create our own order status which is not available in the default ones. Ok, so what we need to do is go to System, then Localization. Now click on the Order Status field. This is where you can see all the default order status names. You can either edit them, delete them or create new ones. Now let's click on that new button at the top right. There we see a single field where you need to enter the status name you want to use. For example, let's enter on hold. Now click on the save button. Well, that's really it. Let's go to orders once again and edit the one we just switched to processing. Go to order history and click on the order status drop down once again. This is where you see your new order status. So that's basically it. You now know how to create all order statuses you need for your business and how to switch between them in the order view field. We hope you learned something new. Hit the like button if you did and subscribe to our channel for more OpenCard 3 tutorials. Thanks for watching.